Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. So Virgo, when I sat down, I'm like, Spirit, please give us some new love. Now you just saw me shuffling. We literally have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so I feel like there's definitely something you've been thinking about, Virgo, ruminating on this. Like, what will this new love be like? When is it going to come in kind of energy? But Virgo, I got like heavily that whoever this person is that you're about to align with and match with is someone that feels like it's a super healing connection. It's somebody who's going to hold on to you. You don't have to worry about this person making you feel disposable, okay? But right now, you might not be seeing it because we do have a hangman energy here. But the beautiful thing is like right under the hangman, we have temperance in the reverse. So this is talking about something finally moving forward after a long time of patience, Virg. Okay, because I'm definitely getting an energy from you. Or it's like, damn, like where the hell is my Boaz? Like where is the person that I'm supposed to be with? We have that Eight of Wands popping out, Seven of Cups. So, Virg, right away, before I keep pulling, I feel like there's so much energy here with these cards. Now, I'm getting that somebody could be dealing with someone, okay, take it as it resonates, who was born July 8th, okay, I'm also getting August 7th. Now, with the Eight of Wands here, there's this energy of, like, communication coming in, okay, someone wanting to talk to you, and this person really making it obvious. Now, I feel like, Virg, for you, communication with whoever you were with or whoever you might have been involved with was very sparse, okay? Very, like, off and on kind of communication. And I feel like it's something that almost acted as a distraction in your eyes, like a distraction from your real person. So it's like, listen, I don't need anybody blocking me from the person I'm supposed to be with. I don't need any bullshit coming in my life that's going to mess up my time period or my time frame to meet my person. Queen of Swords energy or King of Swords. Shout out to my Divine Masculine. So, Virg, some of you guys had to really turn your back on certain thoughts that you had. Like, I feel like, and let me know in the comments down below. For some of us, we really felt like we were playing ourselves almost by dealing with this past person to where you had to turn your back to the nonsense, turn your back to the distractions. So that way you can really focus and be clear, Virg, and be very clear on this new beginning and what you're trying to bring in. Virg, I feel like for some of us, we even didn't need, it's almost like closure is not needed. I just simply just need to turn my back on something, okay? And as I see under the two of pentacles, we have the nine of swords. So I feel like you're doing a really good job, Virg. I'm sending you out big hugs, okay, of releasing this, especially in Virgo season, okay? So I feel like there's a there's an energy behind you, Virg, that's kind of like lighting the fire under our ass, like, Let's move forward. We are not going to sit here, sulk, and be, our, be in some sort of self-pity. We have to move forward. Queen of Swords energy. You're being very direct about your boundaries. Someone's definitely um, asserting their boundaries here. And the Nine of Swords did pop out. So thank you for that confirmation, Spirit. And this is heavily talking about, again, you needing that time for you. Now, Virg, I also feel like, <laughs> wow. All right. So, uh, for some of you guys, um, it sounds kind of specific, but perhaps in the recent past, Someone messaged you and you didn't respond or they didn't respond and that really hurt you. Okay, and I feel like there's a part of you that's, that's still releasing that or still thinks about that, about the fact that you had to walk away. Although you wanted to kind of move toward that person, but you just knew that you needed something new. Okay, so give me more here, Spirit. Yeah, we have the five of pentacles. So, Virg, I feel like this person could have left you feeling like... Almost like you were like you were disposable or that you weren't somebody that they're going to hold on to. Now, I remember in the beginning of the reading, it's like with this four of pentacles, this person that you're attracting or this person that just came in is someone who's going to hold on to you. They have a very healing presence about them, Virg. And it's good news. Okay, like you feel really excited. And as I say, hold on to you, Virg, we have the four of pentacles right here. Okay, so there's that synchronicity. Thank you, Spirit. And here's you, my Virgo card. And right under that is the goddamn lovers. Let's be very clear on that. Right under that is a page of cups talking about a new innocent kind of love connection. So, Virg. You are very much on point with how you're trying to attract this and bring this in. I feel like you're doing all the work that you need to do. Um, and with the Six of Wands, this is a lot of really good news, okay? I feel like this person could make you feel really... It's almost like a kid again when you're talking to them or when you guys have conversation, communication with each other. It feels really, really good. I feel like, Brent, if you don't know this person, they're going to feel extremely familiar when they do come in. All right, but right now, it's like... I'm not sure exactly what this could mean in your life as this is a general reading, but with this five of pentacles, I feel like you're figuring out another way to feel good or another way to feel, to fill in that kind of gap, that kind of sad, the sadness that you might feel with not having anyone right now. Okay. And I feel like you're trying to do it in a healthy way. 
operating in your empress or your emperor-like energy, okay? Because you know your stability is on its way. It might be a little slow, might have been a long time coming, but this is in your past position, Berg. So I feel like it's closer than it has ever been. So let's get more on this. What is this spirit? What is this eight of wands? What is this communication? Okay, I just need one. What is this communication spirit that the Virgo will be getting? Oh, wow, five of wands. Very interesting. Two of wands at the bottom of the deck. So Virg, now let me know if this resonates because I feel like the plot is thickening. it. The Virgos, we got a lot going on lately. We really do. <laughs> okay, now with the five of wands, I feel like some sort of like, conflict is is about to ensue or happen in the past right where you might have not been getting along with someone you guys could have exchanged some very sharp words here and i feel like Berg, that that gave you a distraction for a long time because you kept thinking about that argument you kept realizing that the, that this was too toxic of a connection or something to that effect here all right where you really wanted a calm cool and collected ten of pentacles it's like i don't even think you have the energy for this anymore all right why is the seven of cups here spirit Okay, yeah, that's what it was. Knight of Wands. Somebody who is very... Absolutely not. Somebody who is non-committal. Okay, somebody who was passionate about you, but didn't really think in terms of practicality or long-term energy. And I feel like a part of you is really trying to move on from this person. They may still be around. They may still be coming back in, but you're trying your best to keep that Queen of Swords, King of Swords energy because you know that they don't have what you need at this time to make you feel safe in the connection period give me more hence why you turn that sword on the ass all right give me more here spirit what is this why is the queen of swords here okay hangman all right so the the one thing is um one good thing Virg, with the hangman energy it's like some of you guys may not have completely ended the connection but i'm definitely getting from many of us what you did do was leave it where it sat Okay, just leave it alone and it will just fall away naturally. Okay, because with the five of cups here, I feel like part of you is more like you already mourned this. Like you already saw this coming. This is nothing new. I don't feel, Berg, I don't feel like anything caught you off guard here. I don't. I feel like this is something that you kind of already knew. You were feeling the vibe. And that's something that you allowed yourself to be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to just let this shit rock the way it is. Now, another thing that I want to bring uh, back into the reading is remember, we had the hangman for your overall energy for what's coming in, right? And this was talking about, Virg, how you feel stuck. So I feel like for many of you guys, this is where you are, trying to turn your back on the situation, not necessarily calling it quits 1,000%, but you're allowing yourself to grieve it before it leaves 1,000% so that way you'll be in a much better place when it does leave. Okay, so give me more. There's a great release going on here, which is fantastic. We have the Six of Pentacles popping out. So this is letting me know, Virg, this is like you're doing what you can do. All right, it's like you're not really holding yourself to this unrealistic standard of I'll never speak to this person again or I'm going to block them because you definitely somebody blocked them and unblocked them or stopped talking and started talking again. You're really showing yourself some real grace and understanding and not judging yourself so harshly, Virg, because you're starting to understand that emotions are a very complex or very tricky thing here. And with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like you're being much more patient with yourself and your growth during this time. So for some of us, it's like if you don't completely cut this person off, you're not really that upset with yourself because you understand that you're just going through the motions at this time. Okay, and I feel like you're doing what you can to make sure that you are in a better place. So with the Eight of Cups, just because you, you haven't completely cut this person off, Virg, does not mean that you're not walking away, that you're not checked out emotionally. Okay, because some of us are so black and white where we have heavy earth in our chart or very practical in that matter, very logical. I could talk, I could be talking um, to somebody who has Aquarius and Venus. Okay. I'm also getting in your moon, but, um, with the eight of cups, I feel like Berg, unless it's some overt display of like, no, you're cut off, you're blocked, you're done. You don't give yourself the credit that you deserve. Like, nah, Berg, you are slowly bouncing up out of this person's life. You are slowly cutting them off. Sometimes things don't happen as we want them, but they're happening slowly. And that's what this looks like. Okay, so give me more. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for the Virgo? Okay, yeah, and this is, yeah, I love this Virgo. Look, look how the Ten of Wands is here, and then we have the Death card at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the Death card being at the bottom of the deck is letting me know that you are fully transforming this connection and yourself. 
Okay, and I feel like Virgo, you are so close. Ten of Wands is like you might be so exhausted, so tired from all this battling, from all this nonsense with this situation. But you know that victory is near. You can even see how the house is like in the distance. And that's where this person with the Ten of Wands is going. They know that they just push a little bit more. They're very weighed down right now, feeling a, a lot of problems. But if they push just a little bit more, they will indeed have that level of victory and close out this chapter. All right. I feel like you're just tired, Bert. Right? I really do feel like you're tired. Give me more spirit. What is this? Why is the Empress energy here? Okay, and more, more than anything, Virgo, I feel like you're tired of sleeping on yourself. You're tired of not being in your full emperor, your full empress energy. Yeah, the queen of wands popped out. Okay, so now you're able, Virg, it looks like after all of this, you are able to step into your queen of wands, okay, your king of wands. And this is somebody who's very confident, outspoken, saying what they want, saying what they don't want. You're very social, very attractive at this time, Virg. So understand that everything that you have gone through has literally prepared you for this moment to step into your independence, right? Because this is literally clarifying the empress. And the empress is all four queens in one, or for the emperor, all four kings in one. And it happened, Virg, from you stepping into your confidence, from you saying, you know what, not necessarily about beauty, or I'm going to step out, I'm going to get all these suitors. It's just you being confident in knowing that you don't know everything, right? That you don't know exactly how your future is going to pan out, that you don't know who your person might be, but you're confident enough to show up for it anyway. Okay, so this is where you're at at this time, Bird. And I think that's a very powerful place to be in. So shout out to you. Now, as I pick up this deck, we got the Knight of Swords. Now, notice how all this movement is starting to come after we talk about you simply stepping out of your comfort zone and saying, you know what, I'm going to show up anyway for whatever spirit has for me. Okay, so let's, what, what's coming in for the Virgo? What is this? What is this energy here? Oh, okay. So we have, okay. Wow. So there's a couple of things going on here, Virgo. So it's definitely somebody new and we definitely got this like player energy still around you. This person still, I feel like it's going to be a bit of a challenge for those of us who weren't completely removed from this person yet. Okay, some of us still think about them so much that it's just difficult to move past it. Okay, with this Five of Swords energy clarifying that Knight of Wands. It's very difficult, Virgo, but you're, you're almost there. You've done the work. So it's like, don't go backwards. Okay, now you also have this Ace of Pentacles, which is talking about someone new. Now, Virgo, I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to feel conflicted about this new person because you're so used to this old person, the way you guys did things, the way they spoke to you, the way you felt for them, how fondly you felt, which is going to cause you to be in like a two of swords energy. Okay, but what I'm going to need from you, Virgo, is to remove the blindfold so that you can see the problem and the solution clearly. The past person is giving problem, the new person is giving solution. Okay, because if you see like, Virgo... Give me more spirit. Why is the hangman here? Oh my. <laughs> Listen, if when spirit talks, they talk. All right. The hangman is clarified by the hangman. The hangman is here because, Virg, you can literally keep yourself in this stuck position if you continue to repeat these past things. I just, that's just what this is. Okay. Remember, we also had the hangman at the bottom of this deck as well. So now we have the hangman here thrice. Wow, Berg. Okay, so also you um some of you guys are, are changing your perspective even on how you looked at this past or how you looked at this past person. Give me more here, spirit. Give me more here. Okay. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom deck. I like this energy, Berg. So I feel like for a while, you might have been a little bit uh, apprehensive of really making a concrete decision. Because remember, we talked about kind of making a, an exit without really making one physically yet, right? Because I don't, I'm not getting a hard ending here. It doesn't feel like a harsh, concrete, done, see you later. Now, for some of you guys, you are realizing that with the, with the moon card here, that this person never really displayed how they truly felt toward you. You might have got it in little doses, little pieces, but they never really displayed that, okay? Especially for this past person. But we do have the Nine of Cups. I feel like in some ways, Virg, this person felt, it was almost like they were selfish with their with their love energy or with showing you how fond they were of you, okay? I feel like that remains undisclosed at this time because they just didn't, they didn't show you that. But what I do see coming in for you, Virg, which is like, 
it's like bittersweet is that you're starting to really revel in the power that you have because you do complete this journey here with this ten of wands you do get this person or this x energy or whatever this is you do release yourself from it so that way you're operating in your fullness okay give me more spirit give me more on this person's energy i'm gonna let spirit take the wheel here whether they want to talk about okay I'm going to take those two. Whether they want to talk about the past person or the newer person, but you are going to have victory for sure. The world card. You're going to complete some cycle here, Virgo. Okay. Now, as I say complete some cycle, we also have the wheel of fortune here. All right? This is uh, the number 10. 10 talks about completions as well. And I feel like, Virgo, you're doing that by protecting your energy. It's almost like you're also, um, you become much more selective. So I do see like this, it's almost like this past person is trying to get your attention. I don't know how they're doing it, Virg, all right? Because I don't feel like you're blocking them. Again, I feel like you're aware that <laughs> if you block them, you may very much unblock them and be like, oh my God, why'd I do that? But I feel like this person could be trying to get your attention again, especially while this new thing or this new it's almost like this even it could be even be a new project something very valuable here it, we, it could be a person too we'll find out in a minute virgo but i feel this energy where this person is really trying to come back in but you have to like it's like uh go away from me with this though i do not want to be bothered with that i'm working very hard on myself seven of wands energy now virgo i feel like this person could also be feeling a level of competition Okay, and we were getting that, and I think you're reading like a couple of days ago. So, Virg, I'm about to go into the extended, and I want to get what's going on. What are the next steps? Because it does look like you have some new and some old here. Okay, so I want to get both of their intentions as well as their next steps. So, if you are interested in that, Virg, everything will be down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute, Virg.